Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Introduction to Selenium, I am going to explain about the different versions of Selenium and what is the latest version of Selenium that we are currently using. So Selenium has different versions and it got released into the market in different versions, starting with Selenium 1 version. Currently, when I am recording this session, Okay, the latest version of Selenium is Selenium 4 and some subversion is there that is 4.8 point something is there. Okay, that I'm going to show you. Okay, so what are the different uh, versions of Selenium we have so far when I'm recording this session till that time? Starting with Selenium 1 guys. Okay, Selenium 1 got released into the market long way long back guys in the year 2004. Okay, so almost 20 years, right? Uh, just uh, one year less than 20. Okay, almost, uh, you know, near to 20 years it's happened uh, that Selenium 1 version got released. It's so old. Selenium is so old and, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of very popular in the market and the future is also good, guys, okay? Starting from now also, the future is good for Selenium, okay? So because the community is like that, okay? The tool is not getting outdated. The work that the community members are doing, okay, to improvise the Selenium test automation tool, uh, you know, uh, by releasing the latest versions of Selenium is very good. And uh, the future is still intact, guys. A lot of people think that, okay, the Selenium, okay, it may go out. Uh, the tools are coming into the market. They may replace Selenium, but it's not going to happen, guys, okay? It's not going to happen. So it's there. Selenium 4 came. Tomorrow, Selenium 5 will come, okay? Things will keep on happening. Selenium is getting itself molded. Okay, according to the industry standards and it's competing the other test automation tools like anything, it has a good community support that no other test automation tool has. So don't worry, it, the future for Selenium is very good. Okay, <clears throat> so Selenium 1, very old. You see, Selenium is very old. Selenium 1 got released in 2004 year, Jan 2022. And after that, Selenium 2 came into the market, okay? It got released on 2011, guys, okay, almost after, you know, seven years it got released, okay. More than seven years of timeline, you know, it got released. Then it was a major change. Anyhow, Selenium 2 was a major change at the time. And then Selenium 3 came into the market, okay. Selenium 3 came into the market with a lot of uh, improved stuff. And it happened in the year 2016, guys, just five years gap here. Seven years is there here, five years gap is there, as you can see. Now... We are using the latest version as per the recording. I am saying Selenium 4, but maybe in future when you are seeing the same session, it may be that uh, we may have future versions of Selenium also may be ready, okay? So don't, I cannot say that at this moment, Selenium 4 is the latest, okay? I can show you the year, the 18th February, 2023, Selenium 4 is the latest, I can say, but in future, I cannot say, right? So I'll show you the best way to find out what is the latest version of Selenium in this session, anyhow. So Selenium 4 got released in uh, 2021, guys, okay? You see the gap between 2016 and 2021, you can see is again five years, guys, okay? So now the the speed is very high, guys, okay? So whatever the speed I'm seeing now, right? Maybe the Selenium 5 version may come very fast this time, okay? So I'm seeing that change, okay? It may not be five years of gap. Uh, it may not be five years of gap, guys. Uh, we may get it very fast, okay, this time. I'll show you the proof for that. Be with me. Selenium 4 and uh, October 30th, because Selenium has become very active as the community has become even more active than the old end days. The, the things that I'm observing, right, they are going very drastically and the updates are coming very fast. So we may get uh, more quicker versions in the upcoming days, okay? In a quicker way, we'll get more versions of Selenium, guys, okay? For Selenium 4 to come, right, it was very, you know, very huge waiting was there, but I don't think Selenium 5 will have such kind of huge waiting. So that's going to happen, you know, soon, I feel, okay? So there will not be any need to wait also, okay? So such kind of things are going on in Selenium community. I'll show you. October 13, 2021, guys, uh, latest as of now, okay? When I'm recording this session, that is February 18, 2023. And the best way to find what is the latest version uh, of Selenium we have in your running time, okay? This video may get outdated in the coming days, okay? But still... Uh, I want to make this video kind of, you know, uh, stay intact to the future also. That's why I'm saying the best place to, okay, don't stick to the Selenium 1, 2, 3, 4 as, 
Selenium 4 as the latest. So because tomorrow the versions will change. Okay, it's a common thing to change. Is every version will change. Okay, Microsoft Word version changes, Windows versions will change, but the basic uh, aura will be same. Something will change. Okay, so for that something, don't think that okay everything is going to change. Okay, Selenium 4 is entirely different. Don't think like that. Selenium 5 is entirely different from Selenium. Maybe some uh, modifications. Maybe there are some new comments. Maybe added. You just have to know what got introduced in Selenium 5. That's that's enough. Okay, don't worry. I am learning some old version. You may not, you may think like that. Okay. Even though you learn Windows 10, okay, and uh, use Windows 11, it doesn't make much sense, right? The mostly same. Windows 10 and Windows 11 are mostly same, guys. Okay. So I used to get a lot of questions earlier, right? When I recorded sessions on Selenium, till now suddenly Selenium 4 got released into the market. People are thinking, like, okay, Selenium 3 is outdated. No, not like that. Selenium 3. Almost similar to Selenium for small modifications, some commands came, some changes came. If you learn about changes, that's enough. You see, Java also has different versions. Okay. Java, uh, Python also has different versions. They keep on changing, guys. Okay. That, that doesn't mean that you are learning some old version. Okay. Learning old version, almost 95 percentage will match with the latest version, guys. Okay. Don't overthink on that. Okay. Stick to that and learn the changes. Okay. Selenium 5, what got came? Selenium 6, what got changed in the coming days? That's enough. Fine, anyhow. So I'll just try to uh, set your mindset a bit uh, in this session, apart from explaining the different versions of Selenium. Okay. So that uh, you will you will focus more on learning than uh, more on versions. Okay. People focus more on version. Am I le learning the latest version? That's not the concept. Okay. Focus on learning, guys. Okay. Well, the tool you have to learn. Okay. Versions keep on changing. The functionalities keep on changing. That doesn't matter much. You just need to know the changes that happen from version to version. That's enough. Okay. Even though you are learning old version also, that's good. Okay. No problem. Just understand the changes that happen from Selenium 4 to Selenium 5, Selenium 5 to Selenium 6 and so on. That's enough. So best way to find what latest version is running in your time is to go to the official website of Selenium guys. That is selenium.dev. Okay. Just open that selenium.dev. I'll show you selenium.dev. Go to the downloads. In the download, scroll down and uh, see here the web driver language bindings and you will find the latest current running version of uh, Selenium that is, you know, uh, for Python, we are going with Python series, right? So let's stick to Python, that's 4.8.0 guys, okay? The latest current version is, uh, you know, some version is also there, 8.0. So tomorrow it may be 8.1, 8.2 and suddenly what happens is one day 5 will come automatically. So I'm saying that while, I, while I'm explaining about these different versions, I'm, I'm calculating the gap, right? Uh, Selenium 1 to Selenium 2, it took seven years, okay? Uh, after Selenium 2 to release, Selenium 3 took five years. To release uh, Selenium 4 again, from here to here, it took five years. But now I'm saying that the community is very active. You can find that from the blog, guys, okay? Blogs, they are actively posting the blogs also, you see? And you see they are keep on releasing the versions, you see? Uh, Selenium 4.7.0 got released in uh, December 2nd. Whereas 4.8 got released in January. You see, within less what one month, 4.7 to 4.8. So with this uh, speed, if they go right, there's a possibility that uh, in February, I don't think in February we got the latest version, 4.90. Okay, two months. Let's take it a two months. Then in uh, March we make it 4.9. April, May we'll get uh, you know five. That's it. It's very fast, right? Okay. So if you uh, assuming that you make it uh, the Selenium 5, uh, maybe in uh, four months, okay, let's give more months, five months, okay, what's the matter? March, April, May, June, July, okay, July 2023, if you are getting Selenium 5, let's assume, okay, July 2023, just small gap, right, 2021 to 2023, just see. Okay, even though you get in October also, it's just two years. Okay, so only we are going to get Selenium 5, guys. Okay, that's what I am predicting. Let's see whether my prediction goes correct or not. That's okay. But uh, seeing this block changes and all, I can see that a lot of work is going on. The community has uh, the good community support came. Okay, uh, you can see the community here, guys. Okay, just search Selenium space, Selenium space GitHub here. And you can see the community behind this. Okay, community behind Selenium. You can see, click on this. And uh, just go to this Selenium GitHub page. You see the people, 677 people are there, okay? A lot of people are there, guys. A lot of people and, you know, a uh, lot of updates are happening 13 hours ago also. The, they are actively working. They are very actively working. 
I'm seeing a lot of uh, updates going to come in Selenium. And uh, okay, the Selenium is getting more data according to the future market. Okay, so and also, um, I'll explain more about uh, the future of Selenium in the upcoming sessions. Anyhow, let's not uh, touch this in this session. What is the future of Selenium? Also, I'll cover. Okay, fine. Anyhow, that's okay. So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, hope you got the mindset. Okay, rather than because versions and mindsets is very important, guys. Okay. From, uh, I have recorded these sessions a uh, long time, but uh, this time I have recorded in a better way saying that, you know, uh, why we have to, okay, the mindset is also important in terms of versions. A lot of people think, as I already mentioned, okay, so just a small version changes, they'll think that uh, they're learning old version. That's not a good thing, okay? You have to learn old versions and understand what was changed in the latest versions. With that mindset and all, with the uh, information on finding out uh, what is the latest version of Selenium and all, if you are good. We are done with the session, guys. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to cover another topic on, uh, okay, from this introduction to Selenium category topic of Selenium Python training series. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.